So, yeah, so we've been working on this for a while. Um, mainly me and Iris, who was there for a second. But oh yeah, there you are. <laughs> um, hello. Uh, so we, yeah, we've been having fun. Uh, so Iris set up the website um, and uh, worked with Moonshaker on uh, on uh, some stuff, I think. <laughs> um, all right, what should we do? We've got all these people. Hey. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so uh, who wants to jump in and define live coding? That's what we need to do. We've only got uh, like 20 minutes to do it in, so we better start. <laughs> You can do it in your own language if you like. <laughs> okay, I think I will try uh, English because I think that a lot of people, you know, uh, English speakers are watching the the stream. Uh, but yeah, I would also like to speak a little bit in Spanish and just say hi to my colleagues of uh, Click. Cool. So what what is live coding, do you think, Iris? Live coding, um, to me, is, uh, of course, is a art form, but uh, to me, it's more about uh, community and how we build technology and how it serves to human human interaction in a non-functional or industry way. Sounds good. Anyone want to add to that or is that is that the complete definition of live coding? Oh, please don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think it's it's nice to define live coding in terms of community and making because then it's kind of making itself and uh it doesn't have a fixed definition then i suppose and as time goes on sometimes i feel that the definition of live coding is being constrained a bit too much as people say hey you're not live coding i can't see your screen or i can't see uh i don't know you've you're using code that you um wrote, wrote yesterday that's not live coding but um i think if you want to call it live coding then that, that's what it is <laughs> and uh you don't have to do everything from scratch or you can have your whole life be a piece of live code and change it from day to day. You don't have to. It's all um, up for grabs, I think. Um, but it'd be nice to hear from some of the other people. Do you just want to at least say hello and say where you're from, where you're calling from? Hi, I'm Thorsten, um, over in San Francisco. I'm trying to think of a good answer for what I think live coding is. Um, I sort of been like, so, yeah, it, it is hard to say it really is. Like you don't really want to pin it down too much. And um, it is just a way of approaching code in a creative context is the way I'm thinking of it. Aside from like working, it's just a way of using code in my creative practice. Um, but that can take many different forms and uh, the proliferation of different live coding languages I think speaks to that as well and people building their own. Um, so I really, I like it from the the side of the creative building of your own tools to realize your own projects. Cool. Yeah, it's nice can that I, there's been... I go? Um, oh, was that someone else? Hello, it's me. Ah, okay. <laughs> You're on. 
I, I, I did the raise my hand button. Oh, um, sorry, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was going to read out my boring definition of live coding, but as I was hearing Thorsten talk there, hi, I'm Simon, by the way, I'm in Glasgow, otherwise known as Ted the Trumpet. Um, hello. I was going to read out my boring definition of live coding. I always put up on the screen, but actually, as I'm here with all these people, I actually feel like live coding, in fact, is a community. And it's this community of people who I know, but actually don't know at all. And I've only, I'm seeing people's faces right now. So um, there's my definition. It's a group of people. It's us. Yay. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I really like the fun going in uh, the, the, other, the other coder uh, sideboard. Uh, it's really nice to see that we are all uh, connected and cooperating. Uh, even though we are around the globe, living different moments and different situations. But here in this, we are a group. We are uh, sharing our differences, but sharing. And it's awesome. I can see another hand up here from Bruce. Um, is that just a wave or would you like to speak, Bruce? Yeah. Bruce cannot hear, he says. Oh. oh, that's weird. Hopefully it's coming out. Bruce cannot hear. Yeah, it's definitely going out to the internet. So I guess that's just a problem Bruce has locally. Um, <clears throat> okay. So who else is here who'd like to say hello? Hi all, I'm Francesco, I'm from Rome. Maybe you know me as Nesso. I've Nesso. been... Uh, hi all. Uh, so what to say? I think uh, the cool thing about uh, live coding is that it's like a practice people do and it's great to see that everybody has his own uh, way and is trying to do art but in different uh, type of music or different uh, stuff and i think that's interesting and i don't know i always thought like uh, i'm always into particular type of electronic music and it's cool to see that everyone has his approach and everybody's trying to build software all together. And I think that's the great thing about life coding. Cool. But yeah, it is so nice just to see people's faces. So. <laughs> yeah. I think Arian uh, wants to talk. Um, who, sorry? Uh. Oh, someone raised uh, his, her, they, her hand. Um, me? Yes, go for it. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess um, at risk of maybe uh, maybe restating uh, what other people have said. Um, I think I think of live coding to me as like the feedback loop between putting an idea into code and then seeing what comes out and then reacting to that, and that just kind of going back and forth. Um, and I guess I think of that kind of personally, but I think that, that it's kind of reflected in the community and like performances and reacting to the way that people respond to your art. I think that it's also like all these people making cool tools and frameworks for live coding um, and then putting that code into the world and then getting a response and reacting to that, just that feedback loop in general to me, it really defines live coding. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> and it's awesome to make music like going straight from the brain uh, to the sound. It's not like playing an instrument where the body has to act in order to produce a sound. Here's like when you chat, it's even it's even faster than when you wrote, you know, with with paper and and pen or pencil, uh, and it's great. I uh, when I met the chat 
for the first time I was like 15 years old and it, it's 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 a similar process this way that the that the idea uh, or the imagination can flow and be represented with words uh, with a language and it sounds it's awesome yeah um, but still it's um, even though we're not um, playing an instrument directly I think it still feels quite physical um, in terms of the way we respond to the sound or the visual that we're making it's still kind of working with a material just through this strange sort of step in between of language um, but going through the language and then back out into the world and then back at ourselves um, with a subwoofer, big speakers or <laughs> with uh, a projector or with a dancer, whatever we're doing. So it still feels like being in the world, but um, yeah, it's through this weird language thing. Um, So does anyone have any questions for the other people who are in this chat? Oh, we've got a just a saying they want to speak. Who's that? Yes, it's ah. me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, in Rome, like last year, I had an inter interesting chat with uh, Rani Bell about live coding. And one of the things he said to me, he said to me was, uh, sorry about my English, it's not very fluent. Uh, is 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 like uh, when people play an instrument. Like if you play the guitar, you're going to practice arpeggios like every day. Instead, with live coding, uh, you should like every time try to do something new. When you see you're doing uh, one thing a lot of time, it means you should like write a function and then just recall that. So I wanted to know what you think about this, and I don't know. Yeah. Um, anyone, or should I? <laughs> ah, I think Thor wanted to respond. Actually, no. I was actually that was me pointing at you, saying you should respond. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm talking. I may as well. I totally agree with that as well. Like, um, whenever I find I'm repeating myself, I will write a function which can then recall for that as well. So um, I totally, yeah, agree with what Renick said and what you just said. Yeah, I I agree too, but it's um it's also a little bit painful. <laughs> like <laughs> I, I think it's absolutely true, but it's also kind of um you find something that you really like, um and but then after a while it just feels as if you're just doing the same thing over and over again and there's no effort in it there's no joy anymore even though the actual um music you're making might might be good or visual you're making might be good um it feels like you need to do something new and that's kind of um it has negative sides as well <laughs> um i don't know it'd, it'd be nice if um i'd if if you if you go to a folk club or something, people are doing the same songs over and over again, and they're kind of passing them on to other people, um, and that's quite nice, you know, sharing a tune, and it might develop a little bit, but it's it sort of becomes part of um, a sort of a long expanse of culture. Whereas with live coding, I feel that if you're always trying to do something new. Um, I don't know, we, we, I guess we make these functions and then we share them with each other, don't we? So I suppose it's just a different way of sharing and developing things. Um, and, and if someone watches your screen while you're doing these things, then they learn and take it into new directions. Um, but yeah, I think sometimes I do just want to make a track and reproduce it. Um, and I do do that sometimes, but just this kind of feeling that um, 
I need to be doing something new. And it's not just doing something new, but it's about learning, isn't it? It's about doing something new and learning about what it is. And um, yeah. It yeah, feels... so sometimes uh, it happens that like you, you write something, you embed it in a function, and then you totally forgot what it does and you just <laughs> recall it and then <laughs> and then when you have to want to change it you have to look back and see oh that was <laughs> yeah yeah I, I've forgotten so much I just feel like when I'm performing I just use two or three functions and I'm happy with that but it'd be nice if I could remember more <laughs> Okay, Simon wants to, to, to talk. Okay. Yeah, um, you got me there. Yeah, I was just thinking about the comparison that somebody just mentioned there about playing a musical instrument and coding because, <laughs> as I'm always saying, I'm a musician, I'm not a coder. I, I don't know how to write a function. But today I was playing my trumpet and I'm just considering how it felt to me, the difference between playing the trumpet and the difference between coding. And what I'm actually thinking about is there's two kinds of playing the trumpet. There's playing the trumpet where I'm practicing, where I am practicing scales, where I'm trying to be um, really develop my technique. But when I play more freely, when I just play jazz, when I just turn away from the music and play whatever I want to play, there's a very creative kind of playing on my trumpet. And that very creative evolutionary kind of playing feels more like live coding. So I think the thing for me is the comparison is, is not so much between playing an instrument and coding. It's between a, a free and improvisatory and a feedback system. Um, whereas sometimes when I'm playing the, the, some kinds of music I'm playing are much more, um, much more directed and much more um, constrained. Um, that's what I think. Cool. Um, would anyone like to make uh, final point because we're coming to the end uh, I just want to say that I'm really happy to be here in this quarantine context it's awesome that we are building culture uh, digital culture in the internet live culture um, and I think it's awesome we are doing art with code because uh, programming um, it feels like the future and it feels that anything can be done or connected with it. And uh, I don't know, I just love uh, to live code. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah, great point. We kind of, um, we've been planning this uh, event for a while, of course. Um, and uh, as things have gone on, um, the nature of this event has changed, I think. Um, and we have to respond to that. Um, so I hope you all feeling healthy at the moment and uh, your families are well and things. Um, and I'm sure we'll be uh, exchanging a lot of uh, love for each other over the next few days. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, I, I think this is a really nice um, little experiment just to talk to each other um, maybe we could find some other half hour slots um, to do some more talking. Um, it's so nice. I mean, when I use the internet, I tend to just um, think of um, the live coding community as just one blob that I talk to, which is quite nice just to have this. <laughs> but then when you actually um, see people, um, it makes it a different thing. So we should definitely do more of this. Um, I'm not quite sure why my... Uh, server on look.org didn't work but I'm glad we managed to find our way to use this um, jitsi.org instead so thanks to jitsi.org for their open source video conferencing platform yeah. okay. <laughs> um, right so what's on the schedule um, hopefully um, they're pretty ready to go whoever they are let's have a look equinox schedule does anyone know? Um, okay, Bot Cocktail from Mexico with uh, electronic music with some of live coding in Sonic Pi and visuals on processing. Um, so hopefully they're ready to go from Mexico. Um, it's been great talking to you. Um, we should probably clear the stream ready for the next one. 
Um, has anyone got any final three words each they'd like to say? Thanks for all your work. It's four words, but thank <laughs> you for all your <laughs> oh, okay. I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Un yeah. It's been very nice I want to, to say hi to all the people within Click uh, Live Coding Collective. They they are a huge support, and um, I don't know. We are a lot, and it's awesome to be there. Yeah. Thanks to Click for your support. It's been great. Um, cool. All right. Okay. Bye then. And uh, yeah, it's been emotional. Thank you, <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.